What's up, YouTube? It's Elite Four Legend, and I am excited to announce the next uh, series of videos that I'm going to do for you. Uh, and that is my Double Battles League. I recently joined a league. This is the first time I've ever competitive battled in any way, shape, or, uh, shape or form. The hardest battling I've ever done was the Elite Four in the story mode in the game. So I can't promise anything with these videos. I can't promise me even on the, all the matches I play that I will even win one time. I'm so new to this. My strategies might be a little off. Um, because I've never really looked into a team strategy like this whatsoever. Um, I recently started um, thinking or brainstorming about a single battles team because that's something I've really wanted to get into. I've learned about you know EV IV training and I've really learned about uh, just all of that stuff in general and I've really kind of wanted to start. So I actually started creating a single battles team when uh, I recently started following a guy on Twitter who came out and said that he wanted to join, uh, start a double battles league. Uh, so I never really was into double battling, but since I wanted to try, since I wanted to uh, learn more about the game, learn more about, learn more about battling and researching Pokemon, uh, of course I joined the league and we had our draft. And basically this video is the 10 Pokemon that I drafted. So hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, you might think my ideas or strategy is a little weird. Like I said, I'm completely new to this. Uh, but I just hope you guys give me some constructive criticism uh, and ideas that I can lure, uh, use from week to week when the, when the matches progress. So me being the complete noob that I am, I just thought that we were going to uh, draft 6 Pokemon and that would be your team for uh, the 11 or 12 weeks that I'm battling. Uh, about halfway through, I had my team set, I had all the 6 Pokemon that I wanted and then about halfway through, uh, someone said that we we're drafting 10 Pokemon and then, so I had to completely switch up my strategy but all I really did was uh, the four Pokemon that I had to draft extra were really just for type coverage um, so I'm still trying to learn how I can throw throw these in but I think I can get these four monsters to work and also before I start none of these monsters have moves or items or uh, abilities on them because they're they are going to change from week to week so as the as the weeks go on and you watch me do my matches I will have every single monster that I used uh, I will have every move that they have, the item, the ability, uh, the EV spreads. I'll have that all in the description below. So if you're kind of curious of what I was using, uh, all that stuff will be in the description below. Um, so I might talk about some moves here and there that I have an ideas of. But uh, for right now, there's no moves on any of these. So first off, we have an Electivire. Um, I basically chose him because I do have a Gyarados on my team. So if I did want to do a Rain Dance Thunder combo, uh, Electivire can use Thunder. But also because he's so versatile in that he can learn all the punches. So I've got Ice Punch, Fire Punch, uh, Thunder Punch. He can learn Earthquake, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, Earthquake can work really well in my team on my team just because I have a lot of uh, flying Pokemon. I have a Pokemon that uh, knows Levitate. So Earthquake works really well on my team. So that's why I picked up Electivire. The next monster I picked up really isn't involved with my strategy at all. I can't really find a, a way to work him in. But he is my favorite Eevee evolution, and he is actually one of my favorite uh, Pokemon in the game. I do like the way he is set up. And I don't know how walls and sweepers and glass cannons work in double battling. I will learn that when the, in the weeks to come. But I can I know a really good strategy I've, I've used in the past in the, uh, in the video game that has worked really well that I can make him a pretty decent wall. Uh, and if I have to, I can actually use him for attack pretty well too because he is such a uh, special defense wall that uh, it works actually pretty good and um, I can also do a lot of damage with him so we'll see how he uh, comes into play next I chose Steelix just because uh, he is just a freaking beast as far as HP goes and everything uh, it's still which I don't think I had any still type Pokemon on my team so I, I, I picked him up again he can learn earthquake he can uh, throw out uh, stealth rock and all that other good stuff and then my number 10 pick was Glade and honestly I chose him strictly for type coverage uh, because he is psychic fighting which is a two which is I feel like a really good combo um, and actually in week one he worked pretty well for me so uh, you'll see that in the future in a future episode uh, but yeah I really just picked up Glade for type coverage haven't really figured out how to use him yet all right now on to the team that the initial six that I initially drafted at the start this was uh, I feel like I got a pretty good team based around this like I said totally new to this so my strategies might be a little weird or a little uh, noobish I guess you could say uh, but first we have Obama Snow. The reason I chose Obama Snow first is because I was kind of looking at what two good Pokemon work together and I noticed that Obama Snow has the ability of soundproof and there's a move called Boom Burst which hits every Pokemon in the field except for those with uh, soundproof. So that's kind of why I picked him up and I can also use him with Flygon because Flygon has the Levitate. Obama Snow does no Earthquake. Uh, he also knows a uh, wood hammer, which is one of my favorite moves. It's a grass type move. 
So I'll get the stab bonus from that. And I can also throw out the sunny day, which also can uh, help my hand doom out with that. So uh, I feel like Obama Snow is really a good uh, mon for my for my team. Next, I chose Gyarados, and the reason for that is because I was after I thought of Obama Snow Flygon combo, I was thinking about two more monsters that work well together, and I found that Gyarados and Jalescent work well together uh, because Jalescent knows the ability of Water Absorb, so I can hit with a Surf. Jalescent will get HP uh, when they're in the field together. Not only that, but he can learn Rain Dance, uh, and I can throw on the Thunder, which also he uh, he can learn Thunder. My Electivire can learn Thunder, so I feel like that's a good pickup for me. Earlier in the video, I talked about I'm not sure in double battles if walls and glass cannons and sweepers work well, but I basically picked up Drift Blim uh, to be my wall and then to baton pass to my Houndoom because uh, or any other special attacker that I have uh, because I can throw out a substitute. Uh, and then start calm mind two or three times get that uh, special attack up really quick and then baton pass uh, Either to my houndoom or any type of uh, special attacker that I have so that's why I picked him next We have a houndoom and like I said, I picked him up because he was a really good special attacker uh, I could use the flamethrower after I've calm mind and baton pass a few times It's also a dark type Pokemon uh, And I think dark type uh, and fire is a really good combo Next to Jalescent, I already told you why I picked him up for the Water Absorb. Uh, he also knows Cursed Body, with a, which is a really interesting move. Uh, there's a 30% chance that the move that he gets attacked with gets disabled. So if I'm not using him with Gyarados, I can definitely throw that on uh, and give me a little bit of an advantage. And also, since he's Ghost-type, I can do like Will-O-Wisp, uh, and I can use a lot of other Ghost moves too that work really well. Next, we have a Flygon. It was originally supposed to be Noivern, uh, but actually I'm kind of glad Noivern got picked because I feel like Flygon's a lot stronger monster. Uh, it's dual type uh, where Noivern is only dragon type So I can use the boom burst on it. I, it does no earthquake uh, and just knows a lot. I can learn uh, Like Electivire it can learn all the punches. So that's just gonna give you a ton of type coverage uh, and I actually have used him just in uh, In practice battles not in any league matches, but uh, just random battles I've used him in and he, they've worked really really well so that's my team guys. I hope you don't criticize it too bad. I hope that uh, my ideas are not as weird as the uh, they feel like they are in my head, uh, but that's why I'm trying to do this. That's why I'm trying to play a lot more because I'm trying to learn strategies. Uh, I feel like in the just the three or four months I've learned uh, or, or I've started uh, researching Pokemon, uh, as far as uh, competitive battling goes, I feel like I've learned a lot. I've been playing Pokemon since I was eight years old, uh, but I feel like in these past three or four months I've learned a lot more about uh, about battling than I have the, in my entire Pokemon uh, life. So guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I will upload all my matches. Um, also, if you want to check out the Double Battle League that I'm in, they do have a Twitter. Uh, the guy who runs it is really good at updating. So if you guys want to re-watch all those matches, uh, go check out the Twitter. It's at DBL Battle League. So make sure you go check them out. Uh, check out me on Twitter. I'll leave the description for that in below. Also, this, I'm using Pokemon Showdown. I'll leave the description for that website below too. Uh, so, anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys keep training, and I'll see you guys later.